Johnson, Jason Jr., owner of the now in debt Chattanooga Deep Fried Junk Palace. Chattanooga Deep Fried Junk Palace. Yeah, that's what I said. For those of you who have never seen an advert for Chattanooga Deep Fried Junk Palace, Deep Fried Junk Palace. Allow me to give you the long list of things you can get here. We have a large selection of cow skulls. Show your rancher spirit, but place the one on your mantle, or in the bathtub, or even in your bed while you sleep. We have plaque decorations of the Constitution of the United States of America etched into marble. Well, everything but the 13th, 15th, and 19th Amendments. That's not patriotic enough for you? Well, you can always buy our lifelike George Bush Jr. blow-up doll. And those holes aren't for sex, okay? That's just for historical accuracy. We sell vitamins and supplements, so you never have to eat a gross-ass banana ever again. We also sell Mountain Dew, radiator fluid, shotgun lamps, beef jerky, truck hitch toilet seats, pills that make your bone hard. Now that's what I call country number ones. Cornhole, car tires, and lots of them. DIY dentures, satellite dishes, and their covers. We got mud flaps, meth, camo, something or another. Jeff Foxworthy's mustache, hot sauce flavored milk, 50 pound butter bundles, duck call whistles. Hell, we even got subscriptions to Pole Position Magazine. Wait, that's the name of the number one NASCAR magazine? <laughs> Sounds like a damn stripper training manual. Maybe I should get one for each of my six daughters because they love NASCAR so much. I've heard the question from time to time. Hey, Johnny, what in the hell is a jump palace? And why would I go to a place that sounds like a dump? Well, that's simple. It's like all the flea markets in North Georgia all mushed together with three cracker barrels and a couple longhorn steakhouse thrown in for good measure. But we also sell clothes, suits, and hunting gear, so really, we're like the Madison Mall of conservatives, only we're in Tennessee. Another thing I heard is that there's no staff around. That's just simply not true. I have many, many hardworking employees who ensure our customers have the best experience imaginable. Maybe their camo uniform has made it hard to spot them, but they're out there. Need a suit for your wedding with your sister? We got camo suits, and now we got camo wedding dresses for that special sibling. Hopefully now that pesky drunk dad here is just lose track of you. Forget why he was even there to begin with, and then just pass out on the reception table again. Where's my punching bag? Jail! We host weddings all the time, and with our amazing menu, we can cater your wedding too. Meet our professional chef, Logan Howlett. He's a really animated character. <laughs> hey, Bob! You really are cooking up a storm. <laughs> hey, Bob, can I get some food, Mr. Bob's? Got food in the window. Give me a sec. I'll give you a beatdown if you don't get this grub, hub, bub. On the weekends, we host all kinds of events sure to make you dance like a like a da dancing person would. We do wheelchair square dancing. Bob and for biscuits. Don't get gravy in your eyes. It's the spicy kind. We do gun shows, car shows, classic car shows, junk car shows, gun mounted car shows, mud wrestling, backyard mud wrestling, pillow fighting. And for people who want something just a little more masculine, we can do the pillow fighting but with bricks in them. We have the Tuesday Bigfoot hunt every week. And all you need to join is a gun, some ammo, some tactical gear, a walkie talkie, trail boots, some of these completely undrugged mints. Don't worry if you don't see him this time. We're gonna see something. What? Danny? Danny, is it you? What's <laughs> oh, Bigfoot? Now people have been spreading these crazy rumors lately. And I want to clear the air here and now to assure you our property is a safe and welcoming place for you and your non-liberal family. First rumor. I, the owner of the Chattanooga Deep Fried Junk Palace, Jason Johnson Johnny Jr., have been compromised by the government via microchip. <laughs> I would just like to say, I didn't get vaccinated, you idiot. I'm microchip free. Second rumor, we 
we secretly kidnap children during some of our events to later feed them to Bigfoot in order to keep tourism up. And that just, that just makes me so mad someone would even think of something so, so evil and slanderous with it. We don't kidnap children. They hang back of their own free will. And there's no proof we fed nobody to Bigfoot. Third rumor, I have a very large penis. Now this rumor is actual, actually true. Just don't want you thinking I don't want to take accountability here, right? Uh, uh, fourth rumor, our food smells like shit because we are located directly next to a landfill. Not true, so completely not very true. It may just, it, it just seems like a, a shitty smell at first, but it, it grows on you. Now that I got all that off my chest, I can tell you about our great new additions to the kitchen menu. We got deep fried brisket, deep fried chicken fingers. We got deep fried mayo sticks, we got deep fried pig fingers. What else we got? We got turtle soup with features, deep fried turtle meat. We also got deep fried peanuts, deep fried walnuts, deep fried deez nuts, got them. Deep fried vanilla pudding, deep fried hopes and dreams. Deep fried ostrich fingers. Deep fried children. Whoa, hey, no, no, no. Nothing like that. We don't serve children. We do serve mass taters, however. And deep fried tater wedges. Deep fried mushrooms. Deep fried orphan Okay, fingers. moving on from the menu shit. Listen to me, we don't serve kids. Stop saying we do. Where is that voice even coming from? I don't have any employ- I, I mean, my employees aren't here right now, so... Uh, ju just ignore the weird voice and all that nonsense. <laughs> Please, just just come down to Chattanooga Deep Fried Junk Palace. Chattanooga Alice. Deep Fried Junk Yes, Alice. yeah, I know they- Okay, I said that. Please come down! Please, I need your money! He needs your money. Yeah, I need their money. And your children, too. No, I don't know! Stop saying! Bigfoot won't feed himself. Hell, maybe I can just scrap this whole advertisement thing and start over. Uh, let me just check how much I got left over from the low. Oh, no, shit. Looks like this one's going up. Oh. Just, just know, whatever any of that, that one voice says, it's, it's not true. Did you tell them about the bumper stickers? The Donald Trump ones? Yeah, like a month ago. Didn't bring a single person. Told you that was a dumb idea. Still recording. Would you just shut it over there? Well, looks like I'll be living out here with you from now on. ちょっと、こうなってしまったか。名残惜しいが、どうやらお別れの時が来たようじゃろう。ご先祖様。おれ。